Mobile Trader – How to use the XM Android Tablet Part 1 In this video, we are going to demonstrate the complete set of steps to use the XM Android Trader application on your Android tablet. After you log into the MT4 XM Trader platform, you will see the MT4 Mobile Trader interface. This interface contains several window tabs such as Accounts, Quotes, Trade, History, Journal and Chart. Under the first tab, Quotes, you can see the list of active currencies. The left side column represents the bid price, while the column on the right represents the ask price. By clicking any instrument name once, for example AUD USD, the chart window automatically displays that particular instrument. There are several options for each instrument. You can access these options by pressing and holding down a specific instrument, for example Euro USD, which will make the action panel pop up. The last option on the action panel is the advanced view mode. This option shows you the current spread of an instrument, the time when the price was last updated, and the high and low values of the market prices for that specific day. In order to go back to simple view mode, click and hold the selected instrument and choose simple view mode. Remember that the simple view mode option only shows you the instrument name with the current bid and ask price. The next option of the action panel is Symbol Properties. By clicking here, you have the properties of the selected instrument displayed. In our example, this is EURUSD. Click the back button to return back to the main screen. We will explain the new order option of the action panel further on. On the right hand side of the platform, you can see the chart window. You can adjust how the charts are displayed by going to the settings menu and located the line type option. The first option is bar chart. This displays the chart as bars. The second option displays the charts as candlesticks. This is already ticked by default. The third option is the line chart, which displays your chart in the form of lines. By clicking on chart, several options appear. Here you can decide how the time period should be displayed on your chart. In our example, we will choose M30, which stands for 30 minute time periods. Here in the same menu, you can access object, crosshair and indicators. Remember that the Android MT4 tablet application has moving average and RSI indicators attached by default. The moving average indicator is displayed on the main chart while the RSI is displayed in a separate window. By clicking once on indicator, you can see the parameters where you have the option to change the properties of the selected indicator. Don't forget that these options vary according to the indicator selected. For example, in the style section, which is common for every indicator, you can change the color and the width of the selected indicator line. You can press done to confirm changes or press set to default to restore the default settings. By clicking the plus symbol located at the right side of each indicator, you can see the list of indicators where you can choose a specific indicator. Let's attach, for example, the Bollinger Bands indicator to the main chart by selecting it and pressing done. After you attach the new indicator to the main chart, you can see that the selected indicator has been added under the main chart column and chart window. If you press and hold down a specific indicator, for example the moving average, a mini action window will appear, giving you the option to edit or delete that particular indicator. Clicking the edit button takes you back to the main indicator parameter screen. If you want to remove that specific indicator from the list, simply click delete. Going back to the main indicators window, you will see that the moving average indicator has been removed from the main chart indicators list. The same steps can be repeated to remove all attached indicators. You can also delete multiple indicators at once by pressing the bin icon and selecting unwanted indicators. You will be redirected to the main chart window 
where you can see that all indicators and extra windows have been successfully removed from the chart window. End of part one. Thank you for watching.